Well, today is Sunday, July 21, 2024. Oh, I think it's about, uh, right now it's about 1 p.m. I got another late start. I just didn't like doing anything for a while. Anyway, uh, it's temperature full okay, it's around 80. Yeah. Uh, but I was going to work on this today. I mean, this is my next plan is to work on these two two fences here. Clean them up and put them back up. But uh, I can't stop thinking about my other fence out by the road. I need to, uh, uh, let me go take a look at it. Yeah, uh, by the fence by the road, I mean uh, this one over here. The, one's got, the one that got washed out by the flood. It got from there, they got pushed out. The floodwaters pushed it all the way out. It was even on the road, but the, after the floodwaters receded that day, I, uh, I uh, came out here and at least pulled the fence off the road. Now, the T post and fence is all that are still connected. They're just laying flat on the ground. And uh, I tried to get them off the road so they don't interfere with traffic, but I don't like it laying there so close to the road. So. I want to try today, if I can, with the ATV. If I can't do it with the ATV, I'll, do, I'll bring the tractor out here, but because the ground should be dry enough. It's, today's like the fourth day after the flood. 16, yeah, fifth day. Fifth day? Yeah, fifth day after the flood, because the flood was on 16 and today's 21. Anyway, I want to try to hook onto the fence with a rope or cable or something and drag it at least drag it off the ditch and I'll light it up where the where it's supposed to be. Yeah, then I, then I I can leave it there for a while until I get around around to actually putting it back up. Which is I haven't figured that out yet either. But I want to at least get it off out of the ditch or out of the side of the road and moved over. That's what I'll try to do today. First, if I can. However, before I can even get into that pasture out there where the fence is ah I need to clean all this stuff out so I can open that gate up and go through that's the first thing I got to do well this was harder to clean off than a standing fence that has some tension on it there was three wires three wires three smooth wires no barbed wire on this side but there's three smooth wires here or was here and uh i got the three wires they were over in here now uh, two of them were over in here and one of them was over that way uh but i untangled them from here and i drug them out over there the first one i i took all the stuff off and laid it there uh, the second two i just it's hard to get that grass off those wires when there's no tension on it it's really hard anyway I got the wires off uh, out of there, so now I got a there's a pallet, a wooden pallet in there somewhere. <laughs> I got to dig that. Yeah, I can see it down on the bottom. I got to dig that out, and I think there's some logs in there too. So I'm gonna clean that up now. Okay, let's keep going. I got it off the gate. You know, as I was pulling that pallet out from there, I had an idea. I had an idea. I'm going to put that pallet back in there so I can drive across it. That's what I'm going to do. And it'll also uh, slow the water down. So that's what I'm going to do. Throw that pallet across there so I can drive my lawnmower over it, I hope. Uh, or if nothing else, just to, so I can walk across it. And the gate's open. That's what I pulled out of the Oh, against the gate, that pallet was under there, and all the sticks and roots were there too. Oh, well, here's the three wires. There's still some stuff on it. That one, two. Here's the third one going. Uh, I cleaned that one mostly up, but I'm gonna leave them for later. All them three wires came from here. Yeah, that's where these three wires, and they're all smooth wire all the way to the bridge. Okay, leave that, but I gotta clean that up down there. Yeah, 
I'm gonna throw those roots uh, somewhere else. <laughs> uh, off to the side someplace. And then uh, that pallet, I'm gonna put it back underneath the, uh, well, on that side. I'll show you when I get done. Uh, and then I'll probably burn this stuff, pile it up someplace and burn it. Oh, I got the gate open now. Let's see if I can, what I can do for that one from that side. Well, it's hard to see, but uh, there's three wires from the other side, there, there, and uh, there. And they all are hooked around that, they're, they're all pushed against that post. Two of them are shiny, newer, and one is rusty, they're hard to see. Yeah, there's two wires, two shiny wires and one rusty one. And they all go out that way. Yeah. They got, they got pulled out and broke and pulled in that direction. So, I'm not messing with that right now. I just want to get across there. So I need to do, watch my steps so I don't trip. Oh, there's a, there's a good look at the three wires. And, uh, these two wires, well actually there's more than two, I don't know, there should only be two smooth wires here, there's one there, oh okay, one one goes that way, wraps around, and then comes back, you can see the top wire is still on there, bottom wire goes down on the ground, they both come around this way, and they both go out, that way, I think one of them broke, anyway, that's what I got there. How come I got three wires? I gotta take a look at this. Oh, one wire. The bottom wire goes up and then go around the post and then comes back. So that looks like three. But anyway, and there's also uh, one barbed wire. Okay, and the other barbed wire is still up. That one's still up, sort of. <laughs> a little bit up it's off the ground anyway anyway I gotta work on this crossing here looks like the water ate out my trench where I had my plastic pipe buried underneath the gate yeah I'll have to I probably wind up putting some rock there yeah or I could get some more dirt but rock would be better all right I'll get to that some other time First things first, let's put that pallet in where I want to put it. Well, it's 2 p.m. and I got that low spot, uh, low spot filled in with boards and wood and that pallet. But I can't drive over that pallet. I just walked across it and it broke. So it's too rotten. But uh, it's there as long, as long as there's not a big flood. That should uh, slow the water down. I should probably put rock there, but... I uh, think do with what I got at the time. Uh, I can always uh, improve on it later. Now I got to rake that stuff up and burn it. I think I'll I'll put it out there, out, uh, away from the road. Okay. Well, that area there that looks dead, that's where I sprayed before, so the so the gate wouldn't get hung up when I opened and closed it. Worked out pretty good. Okay, that's uh break some trash uh, just after 2 p.m. and I got something done at least I got the gate cleared I'm gonna burn that the stuff that was along here was kind of wet still even after five days uh, off the ground but uh, stuff here and I caught some more stuff I pulled some more stuff off a fence over there and uh, that's dry and uh, I put that on top so Hopefully as the top burns, it'll filter down and burn the one on the bottom. Okay, let me start the fire. Before I head in and work on the fence by the road. Well, I'm going to wait until I let that burn down a little bit before I go through. I don't, I don't want the grass to catch fire. Yeah, I got time. I'm in no hurry. It's been overcast all day. It's not too hot. It's only around 80. Maybe a little higher than 80. I don't know. But 
the humidity is going up. I can feel that though. And the weather forecast that I saw last night showed it's going to be climbing all week. Every day is going to be just a little bit warmer. Supposed to be up in the upper 90s by the end of the week. And then in, nine, in the 90s, just barely in the 90s uh, next next week. So it's going to warm up, but it's still it's still okay. Especially for this time of year, it could be worse. Uh, I'm just glad we got this cooler weather. I just didn't like the flood that came with it. That's all. Oh well. Uh, I'm getting something done today. Okay. Uh, but there's not much, there's only a slight chance for rain all week, even though it's going to be overcast and humid. Uh, I guess the air is just too cool. It's not warm enough. Unless, uh, uh, well, we'll see. I can't speak so soon. I I didn't I didn't even know that uh, big big eight inch rain was coming. I didn't I must have missed that. Oh well, okay, I was too preoccupied with something else. Okay, I'll just watch the fire for a while. Yeah, the top burnt and the sides are burning, but then toward the bottom it gets wetter down toward the bottom. So I'll wait and see how that burns. But I'm hoping the the, the ashes from the top. Uh, and the sides will will heat up the bottom and dry it out as it burns. Let's see. I'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, I'll wait till that burns down pretty much before I head over to the fence that's laying on the ground by the road. And I gotta. That was my main objective, but I gotta get through this gate first. So, and then uh, I'm not gonna do work too much on that fence. I gotta. I got a thing I got to test that I, to see if, if I can uh, even drag the fence uh, away from the road. That's what I'm doing today, just uh, doing a test run on a way to pull the fence away from the road toward uh, where the fence is supposed to be. And uh, if it works, well then I'll uh, do that later. Yeah, it's burning pretty good. Better than I thought. Yeah, the I think the wet area is over there on the back side. Yeah. And uh don't know if you can see, but uh, uh, that pipe that carries the wire, oh, I should have taped that end up. I don't know why I didn't do that, so the water don't go in. Uh, I, didn't bring, have, I don't have a tape with me again. Uh, I, it was covered up, but even my concrete around the post <laughs> got washed away. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring some rock. Yeah, I'll bring some rock from my big pile up there at the top of the road and I'll, uh, I'll rock this instead of putting dirt in here. I'll leave that. Uh, I might move that stuff and put rock in there too on top of just on top of the pipe. Yeah. Just to be safe. I figured while I was waiting for that fire to burn down, I would, I would clean up this side. Get some more fuel for the fire because this stuff's dry. It wasn't laying on the ground. Uh, that way I can open my gate better. Uh, uh, I'm gonna pick all this stuff up and throw it on that fire over there. Uh, that dry stuff burns fast. Yeah, wet stuff just smolders. But, uh, at least I got it cleaned up. Well, I got both sides of the gate cleaned up. Well, that's something. Uh, that fence shouldn't be too hard. It's easier to get the stuff off the fence when there's some tension on the wire. But when it's laying down on the ground and not tight, so I, I think I plan I'm going to try to stretch it out as far as I can and put it back on the fence. Where I can, and then uh, and then take the stuff off. Too hard to do it without any tension on it. Okay, I still got some work to do over there with some rock. I gotta add some rock underneath there. Wouldn't hurt to add a little rock underneath that gate too. Uh, right there, where the water where the water flows across. I already put some rock here last year, just for just to make it easier to drive there with the big uh, bale trailers. Yeah, 
but I need to slow the water down on that side so it, it's a slower water moving and I got a big log to do that I had a log there but it washed away uh, anyway it's let to stir up the fire and head to the fence over there where I want to try some experiment that's a small fire uh, I raked it up I tried to rake it away from the uh, grass over there and it's hot burning my legs uh, I stirred it up a little bit it's burning better now uh, all I can do for on this end right now I need to get started on the other fence by the road see what I have to deal with there uh, here's my problem on this thing I got a ditch here the fence is pushed out to there but the T post the bottom of the T post is coming out to here as you can see on this one yeah and right now it's dug into the dirt on the bank of the ditch as it goes back up so what I got to need to do is I get right now I got to tie to the wood post I'm going to pull that out first not all the way I just want to see if I can move it yeah I want to at least get the post moved to where my back tires are yeah yeah if I can get it moved that far at least that'll be away from the road and I don't think I can put it all at once anyway because I need to pull this section if I can pull that section and I got some boards tied underneath the four uh, uh, T posts to help them. the board uh, hopefully the boards will slide better on the grass although the grass is uh, laying in the wrong direction uh, so I guess you could say it's sliding against the grain uh, or the lay of the grass but I just want to see if I can move it if I can't move it with the ATV I'll, I'll use the tractor but I want to see if how much I can do with this because before I before I pull it all the way up here where it belongs I want to mow this I didn't notice the weeds are so big I want to mow that first yeah the, the, the green part where I always mowed before that way it'd be easier to work with when I get if I do if I can manage to get the fence up I just have to do it a little bit at a time do this section and then uh, unhook and go down a little farther behind me Uh, that, that section's already up against that post, uh, that power pole. Uh, see right here. Yeah, I got to. I got to get these T posts out of the ditch. Only way I can do that is get a long board underneath them to help them slide. I think that'll work. But like I said, I want to mow this. I forgot about this being up, going so tall. I'll, I'll mow what I can, and then I'll. Uh, I won't do that today. I just want to test today. But um. But, um, oh look at that look at the bull laying up on top of the hill all by himself oh, no. I'm sure the other cattle are around there too and he's watching me <laughs> yeah he's watching me from up there yeah they're always watching me work anyway I'm gonna see how far or if I can even pull this forward uh, any I got the t-post for people I got the wooden post hooked up uh, see what I can do I only got one board here, that's all I had. Only had three long boards. So and uh this these tape posts here are a little better because they're up on they're on flat ground here because they didn't go far they didn't go all the way back to the ditch because uh, they had a, a power pole to stop it. So I think what I'm gonna do after I uh, after I get the fence back up eventually, I hope. Uh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get some more of them wood posts and uh, put them in like where the back end of my uh, ATV is. Yeah. yeah, the fence will be there, but uh, the post will be back here, and I'll put them down deep, and uh, uh, and that'll be my. Uh, That'll be my stop in case the fence gets washed out again someday from another flood. It's like that power pole down there that stopped the fence. These posts here, uh, I won't have too many, maybe two.
two or three in through here in this long span and uh, just uh, something to stop the fence before it washes up against the onto the road like it did this time okay let's uh, see if I can move that oh here comes somebody well, I'm gonna see what I can do let me pull that post uh, just my neighbor they don't live there they only come out on weekends or holidays things like that uh, this is what I thought was going to happen I'm pulling the post it's pulling the whole fence up but uh, the, the T posts are aren't sliding they're digging in so I may have to just move a little bit and then uh, pick up the T post as I as I move forward okay let's go See if I can fix that. At least I know I'm able to do it. But I think it'd be easier. Well, the post is one thing. I got the post moved, wooden post. It's a heavy one. But I think the rest of these, I can just pull on one post at a time, a little bit. Keep pulling one post by hand. I won't need the ATV. I just needed the AT for the big posts. And then, uh, but I'm still going to cut this grass first. Uh, at least some of it. Uh, some of them posts are sticking out. So. Anyway, at least I know I can move. Now, the other day when I was moving this, right after the flood, the same day as the flood, after the water went down, this stuff was all wet. So now it's dried up, so it's easier to pull back. Yeah, I'm gonna move that other stick. Uh, while I'm here, I might as well try to pull some by hand, see if I can do it. You can see where the fence turn in where I pulled it I pulled these by hand because they were stuck in as I pulled it with that it brought the fence up and this these t-post ends stuck into the ground and it was forcing the fence to pull up so I had to dig everyone out of the, pull everyone out of the ground and then pull it forward it wasn't too hard doing that it's the post was the one that was the hard one that's why I needed the ATV I'm gonna see if I can pull some more of these right through here but first I'm gonna move that yellow pole out uh, in out yeah out from the road yeah those boards don't do any good it's better to just pull it by hand that's where the fence was where the yellow is well I was able to hand pull the fence each T post a little bit closer to the away from the road so I say away from the road uh, I already moved the, the post, the yellow post way down there. That's the end of the wood post. So I, I moved it about six foot over there. But these here, these here, I probably moved it about three, three foot. Yeah. And I'll move it some more after I mow this. After I mow this, I can drag it better. Okay. I can go mow it today though. I'm too tired. I'll mow it tomorrow morning. Oh, at least I know I can move it. That's the main thing. At least I, I'm confident I can move the fence back up to here eventually. Uh, all right. At least I won't need the tractor for this part. I'm going to move, move that yellow pole away from the road uh, to mark the fence. And I'm going to go home. You can see my fence wires. Yeah. Smooth wire, top, barbed, smooth. Barbed, it's in there, it's buried behind the, it's buried with the, some stuff, and then a smooth wire at the bottom. So there's five wires three, uh, three smooth wires, and two, or say two barbed wires, and plus that one barbed wire that would sit uh, by itself on top of the pole there with the yellow on. Uh, I'll, I'll try to get it back the way I had it. If I can, I can only try. Uh, let me move that yellow pole now. Oh, I did enough today. I'm going to let the house rest. Uh, at least it's not too hot today. That was a, that was a bonus. Uh, at least I know I can move the fence. Uh, but I'm going to mow this first because I didn't realize it was so tall. Clean that up before I move the fence back into the position. And then I'll deal with uh, 
how to actually put the fence back up some other time. Well, at least I, looks like I lost one of those wings on the bottom of the T-post, but I ain't going to put it back on. I'll just pick it up so I don't run it over it with something. There's another one of those T-post wings on the bottom. So I'll pick that one up too. Yeah, uh, I'll mow I'll mow what I can here. Yeah, uh, before I move the fence into place. Okay, let's go. Home. It's, what did I say? Four o'clock. It's four o'clock. I think. Oh, I'm tired. Oh. Oh. Tired. Yeah, it's tired. Okay, I'm ready to home. I'll head back to the house. I gotta rest. I'm just glad it was cool today. Nice cool breeze and uh, overcast, so there's no direct sunlight. So that's good. Comfortable today. Uh, at least I got some work done. Uh, I feel a little better now that knowing I can. It won't be too hard to pull that fence back into position after I mow the grass through here. Well, I'm here. I try to take a look at this corner again. Yeah. Uh, I can move the big logs. Ain't much too much damage here. I can fix. I can fix that. That. I can fix that. I can pull the fences up after I mow the grass along there. I can mow it all. Uh, I'm gonna watch out for the ends of the tepo sticking out into this grass, though. I'm gonna watch that. Yeah. Can't get too close to that edge. But I can mow the area where the actual fence is going to go. I can do that. And uh, the fence there, where those white jugs are, that's a fence that was over that way along the edge of the creek. And uh, that won't be too hard to put back because I think the posts are there because the jugs were on the post. So uh, I think the fence is there too. So that should be easy to fix. This whole fence should be easy to put back the way it was. Now you just have to watch for this T-post like this one. Sticking out all the way out here. I just have to go around them. I can't move them. So I'll just move around them. Okay. I'm ready to head back to the house. I gotta rest. Now. I take that fence, swing it over there, and put it back up. Uh, that'll be one of the last things I do. Or it might be the first. Who knows? Do the easy one first, right? Here's a good example of what crawdads do, crayfish do, when it's too wet. They, they open up their holes and air it out. And they mound up their mud. When it's dry, the, they'll cover they'll cover it up to conserve the moisture when it's, when it's real dry. But right now they want to air it out because it's too wet. Uh, there's another one. There's another one. A little bitty one. Must be a small crawdad. Crayfish crawdad. Anyway, I see a lot of those now. Okay, I'm ready to head back to the house. Catch you later. Well, I'm done for today. Out here, I got something done. I cleared that gate out. I cleared around that gate and fence. Uh, I left some of that stuff there because there's a wet spot there, a low spot. I'll get some rock to pour between the post those, underneath the gate to cover up the cover up the plastic pipe that holds my wire that connects the fences underneath the gate. Okay. Okay, I'll clean this. Uh, I guess tomorrow I'll be cutting some grass out there where my fence is going to go. Alright. Uh, i got one more thing to check. The fire didn't burn much since I left. 
Let me stir it up, see if there's anything left in there. Yep, and there's a few, few coals left in there, so I'll just let, let it burn out. I don't think there's anything here to burn. Grass is pretty green and wet. Yeah, it's still, it's still wet. Okay, I'll, I, don't, I, I don't see anything that might catch fire. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I'll be safe. I'm heading back to the house. I don't know why, but I'm closing the gate. I'm going to leave the other road open. I know there's no cattle in here. There ain't nobody can get out, but I just I just feel better closing it. Uh, let the people know that they can't come in. Uh, and it's, this makes me feel better to close it. I thought I heard a cow moving way out there. Sometimes they do that. I stop going for some reason. But uh, uh, I'm gonna come out later and check the cattle. But I need to rest. I need something to eat. Oi! What's going on? What did she do? She ran down here. What did she run down here for? Yeah. Come on. Come on, moving. I never see I never seen her run so fast. What's how did she now I'm gonna have to go check them to find out what's going on. She's lo looking for a calf or I gotta go in and look. It's not normal for them to run like that. Calves maybe, but not a full grown cow. Let me go take a look. Since I'm here, tired or not, I gotta look. Uh, that's the Highland cattle that were mooing, this one here. She was mooing right before I started recording. But uh, glad I came over here. Uh, I knew they would do it eventually. They knocked the salt black off the tire. So let me put that back on while I'm here. Uh, she just came through. There's some more cattle up there on that hill. Uh, here comes Bully. I'll get to watch him go through the under the oil there. I got salt block that on back on the tire, but it's going. I need a deeper, bigger tire. That's it, girl. Okay, bully, how you doing? Do? Get away, cow. Yeah. That's way. Look at that. He left. He likes it. Leave it on there. Good boy, bully. Good boy, bully. Yeah. Looks nice. Yeah, I don't see many flies, so it's working, it's doing its job, doing its job. I'm glad I put it up, look at the cattle coming out from the, crawling down the hill. There's another calf coming over on that side. Oh, here they come. Uh, the calf's got to run. Uh, the calf's got to do what the calf's got to do. Bully, you enjoy enjoying that, aren't you? You like that on there now. Yeah, uh, at least my rubber on the ends by the pallets, that's, that didn't come off yet. I should protect it from getting, getting a hole in it from the pallet rubbing. Okay, I guess nothing's, a, ain't nobody in trouble here. Oh, here comes, a, here comes another calf, the two babies. Uh, the, one on, the higher one is the youngest so far from June 2. Growing pretty good though. It's growing pretty fast. It's growing better than that other one. Of course, the other the other one is from a heifer. Yeah. The other one's from a heifer. Uh, a first calf. But that's a third. The uh, the newest one is like a third third calf from the cow right there, right next to her. They're right next to him. The calves. They're all the three calves are bulls. Okay, that's enough about cows. That's uh. Uh, let's go back to the house. There's nothing here. I don't know if they want hay or they want grass. But they're getting salt. Uh, I should feed them hay. But they got they still got some grass to eat. Although she's getting pretty picky, see? Because that got probably got some flood water on it. But they're still eating it. So if they get hungry enough, they'll eat it. And there should be some new grass growing too. Yeah, should be some new stuff growing. Okay. I just have to keep. Hey, that's how they knock it. Hey, 
instead of scratching post, that's how they knock it off. Instead of licking it, they got to rub their head on it. All right, now I know how they knock it off. I need a better setup there. Uh, I need a bigger tire is what I need. Uh, I'll see, I'll have to look into that. See what I got laying around. All right, uh, bully's just enjoying himself underneath the oiler. All right, I gotta go. Catch you later. Look at bully, like he's rubbing it on his back. He's smart. Yeah, uh, good boy, bully. Enjoy it while you got it. Yeah, it's doing a good job. Oh yeah, I went and checked the. I was here, I decided to check the fence. I checked it over there, it wasn't working. So I'll come over here, because that fence goes around up the hill, it crosses over here, comes over here, it feeds from over here. But I had it hooked on this top one. The top one is when I want the fence to be off. Yeah, I hook it on top, that's not connected. But the bottom one is where it's supposed to go, and so I had to I had to do that, I had to rehook it. Now, now they're all working. And uh, this is fence I cleaned up yesterday. Not yesterday, yesterday I cut grass around the house. And uh, and uh, this is the fence I cleaned up the day before yesterday. So all the cattle are contained now with electric. Ah, look at bully, bully! You're blocking the way. <laughs> yeah. Cattle are out there grazing. See, there's there's some grass there to eat. That's good. And that's the and the grass is growing better now with all that rain we had and sunshine. Sun's starting to come out now. It's getting hotter. I can feel it. Okay. Okay, I'm ready to go in. Ah. Nice guy. Hey, Kyle. What are you looking at? Uh, I hear, I hear a tractor over by the neighbor. Okay, I'm ready to head out. Yeah, some kind of machine running. Okay, that's it. Gotta go. Catch you later. Well, I was right. It's uh, 4.30 p.m. and it's only 80 degrees. That's about as hot as it got today. All right, catch you later. Well. It's uh, 7 p.m. and the uh, sun's getting low, but it's still plenty of time. I decided to go out and uh, mow the grass there at the big pasture along the road uh, where, the, where the fence is down. Yeah, instead of doing it tonight, cause I got refreshed and it's cooler. And I just felt like doing it tonight instead of waiting until tomorrow. Oh, wait, tomorrow I'll just go out there and start working on the fence right away. All right, let's get started. Well, on the way out, I decided to stop and take a video of my pond. Look at the moss on there. Yeah, look at the little swills in the in my pond on the water there and over here. Yeah, the water's pretty still. Looks nice. And the house yard looks nice too. Yeah, got it cut down. Next year, when I start cutting grass, if I have the cattle moved out, if, if I don't have the cattle here next next summer, I'm gonna mow this part too. It just it just looks better. Okay, let me head out to the uh, let me head out to the. Uh, Big pasture and mow what I need to mow out there before I move the fence into position. Yeah, I'm headed that away. Well, I'm headed down there uh, to mow that grass along this fence here. On the outside here to that pole, and then uh, where the fence is down, all around there, it comes out uh, in the ditch. Uh, I'm gonna mow on the, I'm gonna mow on the uh, area of the thing where the fence used to be, or just outside of it. Yeah, just uh, wherever I can mow, I can. I'm gonna mow just to clean it up for when I install the fence again, hopefully. Okay, let me head down there and get that 
mowed. Well, let me mow this outside first. Um, I guess since I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and mow that. And then uh, I'm going to mow down in through here as well. well. At least along the fence part. And I'll probably mow the inside too. Since we're going to go in there anyway. Now I've got this mowed here on the outside up to that post. And I mowed all the way through here too. Yeah. Sun shining now. And look out there. Cattle are grazing the bottom again. That's good. I was afraid the grass was too uh too much mud on top of it, but they're they're out there eating something. Probably the it's five days since the flood, so I'm sure some grass has been growing back with all that moisture down there. Okay, let's get back to work. Let's go drive through that gate and go on the inside of the pasture and uh, mow along the fence on the inside and down there. I'm going to mow a little bit of this too, but, but I can't mow where those wires are. So I'll have to go across the empty. Uh, I'll, I'll, mow it, I'll mow at least along there because that's where my fence is going to go. Okay. I'll mow something. And then after that I'll mow along the inside here all the way around till I get to there then I'll just mow all that up and down in there well I'm gonna I I mowed up to that post on this side uh, and now I'm gonna go down and mow at least on the on the outside of where the fence used to be and on the inside too just to just to have it cleaned up before I move the before I drag the fence there tomorrow I'm gonna drag the fence back to the, where it's where it belongs. Uh, then I have to wait and see how I'm gonna put it back up. But all the cattle are over there in the oil there, getting some salt. A bull was standing underneath it for a little while. Uh, till I looked away, then he then he left. He came through. All right, I'm gonna get back to work here. I'm gonna mow the. Uh, I'm gonna mow the outside first. I gotta be careful. I should be okay uh, uh, on, the, on this side. When I go on the outside, I, there. But when I come back, I gotta be careful because that's where the T posts are sticking out. So let me get this. Get the rest of this mowed now. I already mowed the outside. It looks good. I stopped here to get some, uh, to move that log out of my way. And I saw a dead crawdad, I could smell it. Uh, I, could, I saw it and it looked like I mowed right over the top of it, but I didn't kill it. It was already dead. Crawdad, crayfish, whatever you want to call it. So we got them. But nobody around here eats them, as far as I know. They're hard to catch. I think I see something over there, but I don't think I'm seeing it right. But it looks like there's a, Looks like there's a white animal on the on the by pasture road up there. Uh, I better go close my gate down there before they get out. Because it, uh, they had to go through the fence, but I don't know the fence is on, so I don't know how. Uh, before I cut this, I gotta. Well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and cut. I'll keep an eye on. I wanna get the cut done first since I'm over here. Uh, here's my fence. And the T-posts are sticking out. See how they're sticking out? So I got to be careful of those uh, as I drive it down. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go on the uh, I'm gonna cut this side here, and uh, and on the way back I'm gonna cut. Well, I'm on the way back. I don't know. I'm just gonna cut it off. Put it that way, wherever I can. Well, it's all cut all the way down. Uh, let me go down there and take a look at it. From that end. Yeah, that's a lot better for when I put the fence back up. It's easier to walk around. Uh, it's getting late, sun's getting close to going down. 7.50. Sun goes down around 8 now, I think. Anyway. Fence is there, and I got to drag it. Now I can drag it up to the, at least the 
the end of the T post to that to where it used to be where those yellow poles are. Okay. That's where the fence used to be. Okay, I'm gonna go down there and take a video down there from that post. Let's get a better look at it. Oh. That's the sun going down anyway. Yeah, looks like it's done going down behind the clouds, so that's probably the last I'm gonna see of it. So better enjoy it. Well I can. Bugs are starting to come out already. Yeah, that's a nice sunset from down here. Okay. Alright, uh well, I got other things to do. I gotta go close that gate there by the bridge. Just in case there's a calf or Somebody out on that road, I don't know how they got across, if they did. But I gotta close that gate down there so they don't get out any farther. All right, I'll catch you later. I'm headed that way. Back to where I came from. Well, it's cleaned up pretty nice. It'll be easier for me to drag the fence now up to where it was before. Oh, uh, I guess I'll work on that tomorrow, maybe. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the bridge and close that gate now. I uh, can't stop by the bridge. I can't cross the bridge without stopping to get a picture. Uh, water's flowing pretty good. Of course, the cattle can't enjoy it. Not yet. Not until I get this fence fixed over here. All right, let's go check out the cattle over there. Well, I left a lot more over there because it's kind of bumpy coming down that area there. And we approached the bridge. So I just left it there. I'll just walk over to there. Short walk. I'll be there in a minute. Oh, there they are eating that. I gotta check I gotta check something out here. While I'm here. Cause when I was sitting over there somewhere, uh I think it was right in there, sitting on my moor, I thought I I thought I saw a calf on this side, like right by this tree here. I thought he was right by this, this tree or on the road. But uh, it might have been way up there, uh, up there on that hill back there on the other side of the fence. It's just an optical illusion. Anyway, that's what I thought I saw. I'm gonna take a look at it. Well, I remember why I left the gate open now. Yeah, owned by the bridge because I had this gate closed. So even if they did get across there, hopefully they wouldn't go across this fence here, and they wouldn't they wouldn't go through this gate. But I'm gonna walk up the road anyway just to see what's up there. Well, you guys look so nice. The bullies with this Highland girls and uh, or Highland cows, or should I say? Highland coos, they call them coos over there, Scotland. Highland coos. And uh, you, uh, make sure you get them bread this year, boy. Sort of the light of sight that I was seeing. Yeah, I guess that white one must have been up in there before, or some light colored one, but it was pretty white. And I could have swore it was on the road here, but I guess it was on the other side where it belongs. Oh, they're going to walk up there. Sure do like their salt, don't they? Yeah, just don't knock it. Don't use it as a scratch. Don't scratch your head on it. Yeah. Well, it's starting to get dark. Sun already went down. Yeah. Sun already went down. All right, boy. Yeah, sun went down over that way. Yeah, she's enjoying her salt. Salt lick. Yeah. Sure do like it. They got another one up in the shelter up there if they want them up there. Well, there's the two whitest ones. And they're not on the road, so... And this fence is supposed to be on. Yeah, I tested it earlier. It was on. I don't have a tester with me now. I don't carry one on the lawnmower. So, uh, I must have, must have seen one up in here, and I thought it was on the road. But, 
I wouldn't put it past on these calves that go underneath. Kind of hard to do go uphill. Hard to go underneath that fence going uphill. But uh, they might do it. You know, those two always stick together, that, that white one and that brown one. They were born about a month apart. But the little one over here born in June, June too. Uh, he sure is cute. Let me get a better look at him. You're a cutie. You're a cute little boy. Aren't you, boy? They're all cute. Yeah, they're all accounted for. Okay. I guess I was just seeing things. All right, gotta go. Getting dark. Getting dark, and I don't have lights on my lawnmower. <laughs> so I better get going. Uh, one last shot before I leave. Okay. I got you. Catch you later. Getting hard to see now. It's after 8 p.m. Getting dark. But I can still see a little bit. This is where I mowed. I could mow up there where those wires are, but I mowed the rest of it. Okay, back to the house. Well, I'm done out here. Now I'm going back to the house. Well, it's around uh, 8.15 right now and getting darker. Well, you can see where I mowed. Down there, up here, everywhere else. Yeah, just to clean up the fence line a little bit before I pull the, drag the fence back to where it belongs. Where it used to be, anyway. All right, I'll catch you. I guess I'm done here. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye. 8.30 p.m. Sunday, July 21.